Welcome to the ultimate YouTube cameraman quiz with me, Con, and me, your host, John. Con got in contact with me and he said he wanted a 10 out of 10 video for his YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be quizzing him on three topics. The first will be cameras because as everyone knows, Con is the best cameraman. I am camera. The second round will be about YouTube. Uh, round three will just be about some general quiz questions just to give him a chance to get something right. You ready, Con? Yeah, I'm ready to exploit my personality traits. Because all good quizzes do this, we're going to start with not one, but two bonus questions. Name a shape that has four sides. A square. When a rocket is shot up in the air, it goes to outer where? Space. When you combine those two, you get? Square space. Oh! But thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Whether you're looking for a domain, website, or online store, make it happen with Squarespace. So we're going to start off, Con, by showing you a series of images, and I want you to tell me what the common theme with these images is. Okay, image number one. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Next one. Is it outer space? Creepy ass baby. That baby looks like it was born with no soul. That, I have no idea what that is. Is that like a diamond? Another baby. Mm -hmm. There is a common theme here. Think long and hard. We've got a beach. And that's the last image there. So what do you think? What are the differences? Okay, are? okay. Yeah. What do you think? Can't even hazard a guess. The babies, planet Earth, landscapes, the Big Bang. Those images are actually all firsts. So the first image that we saw, that was the first picture ever taken. The second picture we saw was the first picture ever taken in outer space. The third image we saw was the first picture, digital photo ever taken. The fourth picture was the first color photo ever taken. The fifth, the first camera photo. And the sixth, the first picture that was ever photoshopped because that's the first one you put in your Photoshop. My mind is blown right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're telling me the first ever color photo of anything was of a ribbon, was, was of a ribbon, what? colorful ribbon, like for a present. We're going to show you uh, a scene. I think it's called Ground Hay Race Course, and it is the first official video ever taken. And I want you to tell me when the first ever video was recorded. We have on offer for you 1877, 1888 or 1890. Nine is the middle one. Eighteen. The middle one was eighteen eighty-eight. Eighteen eighty-eight. And what? And what? Why? Why? Why have we gone there? Sounds like a fun number. Is correct. That's one point on the board. That is one point on the board. Your guesswork. Pretty good for the first video ever, though. How many megapixels is that? Oh, at least five. You now have ten seconds to name ten camera brands. Go. Nikon. Why did I start with that? Sony. Canon. <laughs> Panasonic. Oh, Eight. Fuji. Nine. Oh, ten. Polaroid. I'm not gonna let yeah, I'm not gonna give you that one. You're not gonna give me Polaroid? Go on, we'll give you that one. I'm free short. You're free short. Who could I have come up with? Pentac? That yeah. is an old camera brand. You could have. Ari, red. Ari and Red. Yeah. Why are they not my go-to? I know. You should Ari, have. Red, Sony. I started off with Nikon. A shout out to all of them in case they want to give Con cameras. He's, he's here for it. Any, any, anyone, all of you. Oh, I'm fuming. So we'll stay on the topic and the theme of camera brands. You're a big Sony boy, but and a, and a black magic boy. I'd yeah. So that's the main cameras you would. Yeah, I'd say my history started off with a Samsung sat handy cam, then it switched over to Canon. I've tried Panasonic, and right now it's Sony and black magic. Do you think that they would place highly in the overall market share of cameras sold in 2022? What I would like to know is which camera brand sold the most cameras in 2022 with nearly 50% of the market share as well. Let's, Wild Horse. I, I was going to say Canon, but Wild Horse. DJI. Well, Con, your instincts are terrible. It was Canon. It was Canon. It was Canon. Let's, let's reverse on. No, 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 no. No points. Um, IMDB is a well-known page for cataloging films, movies, etc., etc. And you have your own IMDB page. Do I do that? You do, yes. You okay, well, I wasn't aware of some of the projects apparently you've worked on on there, and it's definitely yours because it does accredit you with Sidemen. But it credits me with Sidemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bliss Sidemen as a TV show. Wow. Oh, that's what, like every single thing? Yeah, I couldn't find my own name on there, weirdly. Um, but anyway, what is your first credit on IMDB? Dates back to 2013, I want to say 2012 or 2013. Ghetto Fairy Tale. You think it's Ghetto Fairy Tale? Uh, what is Ghetto Fairy Tale? I volunteered myself as a runner slash behind the scenes photographer on a film somebody was making off their own back that I met at a networking event. Back yourself, Con, because you just got another point. Yes! Hey, get a fairy tale. I had no idea. When I found it, I was like, what is this? I have no idea what this is. I tried to watch it. So, listed on there, Con, you've got The Pact. Remember that? You know? That was a short film I directed. Yes. Okay. It was written by these two brothers. Well, that's on there as well. And then you're listed as an actor, believe it or not. In what? Three episodes of The Side Men. I think the way they organise it is a bit weird on IMDb, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I appeared in 
I appeared in a, in a spelling bee when JJ spanked me. That was one of my earliest appearances. Adjusted for inflation, which of these movies is the highest grossing movie of all time? But this film has grossed over $4 billion across its lifetime. That's not just box office. Oh, lifetime. That's selling stuff, you know, TV, uh, TV revenue, etc. Okay, so we have E.T., Avengers Endgame, Gone with the Wind, Ooh. or Titanic. Ooh, those are all solid options. Big cultural movies aren't they? They've got the Avengers. Avengers are always popping off. Can I not have a lifeline? Can you tell me like what Titanic grow? Okay, Con, there's been a flash sale. It's half price now. We're gonna take away two of the answers to make things a bit simpler for you because this is a hard quiz. Before you take them away, oh, I'm just gonna predict what ones you're gonna take away. Titanic and E.T. Take those two away. Okay. Titanic and E.T. have been successfully removed, leaving you with Gone with the Wind and Avengers Endgame. That's where my mind was going. And because I know you made the quiz, you're gonna go for something that isn't so bait. Or do I know that you know that I'll do that? Oh, don't do the reverse, reverse. <laughs> Gone with the Wind is a classic. Oscar Wilde wrote it, right? Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, don't put that in the edit. So you'll think, uh, bro, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind's always been repeated on ITV yeah, yeah. every Christmas. It's, it's over 80 years old. It's had time to build up that. I'm gonna go go with the wind. Con films. It's wrong, is it? It's wrong. Congratulations, is correct. That's another. Wait, wait, wait. What does ISO stand for on a camera? There's a reason. I'm asking You're a bastard. You. I hate you. I hate There's you. The reason that I'm asking Con this is because when I first started working for Con and I was learning. I asked Con loads and loads of questions, and one of the questions I asked him when I was learning about how to uh, set the lighting was, Con, what does ISO stand for? And he said, you'll never need to know. And guess what? Now you need to know. You just need to know what it does, bro. Image storage optimization. It's not gonna sound as nicky as that though, is it? Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, I think you think you ended up that on that one. You didn't get it. I don't think you know. I didn't even it's actually the International Organization for Standardization, annoyingly, which is actually IOS, but they changed it to ISO. Why is that then? No idea. Would have been IOS, ISO instead. It's been a fun camera round, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, let's move on from it. No, no, that's why it doesn't have to end. We have one more question okay. for you. Where does the word camera come from? What would you want me to do? Like, read your Wikipedia. Hey, Siri, where does the word camera come from? Siri can't help you, apparently can't. Where does the word camera come from? Oh, no, 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 that, oh, go on, you, what did you manage to read? That's all I managed to read it. It's got to be like Rome or Greece or like them, them type of ends right there, right? Camera, wait, uh, often like prison cells are referred to as cameras. All right, I'm thinking Europe. I'm trying to zoom in to the map. I'm trying to go like near like around Germany. Yeah, you, you failed. No, okay. Camera comes from camera obscura and it is Latin for darkened chamber because the light enters into the darkened chamber and then that process allows the image to be collected. Now we're going to move on to the round about YouTube. YouTube is a, a great platform and it's uh, very useful as it gives a lot of value to people's lives. For a bonus point, can you name for me another website that adds a lot of value to people's lives? Something useful. Somewhere where you can showcase your skills, a portfolio, maybe you're trying to advertise your business. A lot of utility so far. Squarespace. Correct. Squarespace is a website builder designed to give creatives all of their tools that they need to unleash their creative potential with their online presence. And with a range of user-friendly features and an interface that is easy to navigate, you can set up your own professional-looking website within minutes. And with Fluid Engine, the next-generation website design system from Squarespace, you'll have total freedom to customize every design detail on your website effortlessly, even if you're a complete beginner with the platform. And they offer a variety of different plans, and you can always upgrade to a more advanced package once you need the extra features, such as a fully integrated online online store if you're planning on selling either digital products or physical goods. Speaking on the e-commerce side of things, my favorite feature is the online store, which allows you to convert your website from just a website into a fully functional online marketplace. Whether you have a catalog of cool photography prints you've been meaning to sell or a line of merch you want to offer, then Squarespace definitely has you covered. Squarespace makes it easy to present your projects in customizable galleries that are sure to impress your audience. And all of their templates are fully responsive, meaning that a mobile tablet optimized version of your site is automatically generated for users viewing your site on those devices. And because Squarespace has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer a 14-day free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, use my code CONSTANTINE to get 10% off your purchase. The link is in the description, so give that a click and check it out for yourself. What was your first YouTube channel called? The Green Duck 3000. Yeah, I thought it was the Green Frog. I was trying to find it for this quid and I didn't want to ask you because then you'd start baiting out. The domain for YouTube was actually purchased on a major holiday. Which of these four major holidays was it purchased on? Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, 
International Hugging Day, January 21st, or Chinese New Year. It's gutted I didn't celebrate International Hugging Day this year. Good. I feel like YouTube originally was first created as like a dating site, which leads me to think it's either on the Hugging Day or Valentine's Day. I'm going to go, maybe they weren't prepared. Maybe they were like, oh, there's maybe they got lonely on Valentine's Day and then they came up with it. What, and they created a website in well, one day? Yeah, well, they bought the domain at least. Back then, you couldn't just... You can buy domains pretty easily, I reckon. You can now mm -hmm. with Squarespace. Final answer. Uh, Valentine's Day. Let's log Correct. Up. Yeah? Yeah, you are officially starting off a YouTube neat. Let's see how far you get on the next one. Did you call me a neat? Yeah, big time. I'm very surprised. You had some information regarding YouTube as a service or information that you think is correct and that led me to worry about my next question but uh you know given what you said we'll see how you get on youtube was originally first started as a service what was that service what was it a dating site con you should always stick to your guns you're right there we go nice. and he's got another point he's got another point on the board i'm very impressed this next question relates to youtube and bannings uh you're familiar with bannings you know you're you're banned from the local bowling alley and for bringing peanut butter in uh, for reasons we won't go into my question for you is youtube is banned five countries total north korea iran south sudan china i'm just not great at geography you're not great at geography but you uh it's because you're not interested but i doubt you'll know it so much i'm actually going to get jack to get up the flag of the country now and we'll even show you the flag right as a you know, you're mocking me right as, now as a tech. you're gonna show people how this crap i am at and i've got after that i've got one hint for you and we'll see if you can get it then okay let's see if you if this will help you out in any way oh my god i'm gonna give you a hint it's one of the stands tajikistan did I even pronounce that right? Tajikistan. 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 Yeah. Wow. I did not think that you would have Tajikistan looked away up in the old brain. So close. It is Turkmenistan. How oh, do you know that exists? I didn't think you would, which is why it's so funny. So come on, with a lot of these questions, as usual, I'm, you know, I get a bit worried. I'm like, okay, we need to bring it back. We need to make it a bit easier for the person. So for you, I was going to ask, what is your first ever upload on your Konstantin YouTube channel? Right. My current one, where your this current one is. Yep. I wanted to spe you know, specify that. And I think that you would say... It was the KSI behind the scenes Adam's apple. Exactly. So that's why I want to know, what is your third upload on your oh, YouTube God. channel? I remember you was in those early videos. This goes back, this predates me. I, I feel like this predates me uh, quite a lot. Is it? I feel like I'm going to go, it was some sort of Simon behind the scenes. I remember we were shoving them in the pool. I would like you to get on the phone and I would like you to call your friend Bujanic. And I would like you to apologize to him because it was in fact Oh no a prank. No a prank dream. Bujanic. Yeah. That was such a goated video. That guys, I want you to go back and watch that video. So Con, in 2020, YouTube made the move of announcing the total ad revenue the platform had made in 2020. I have for you three choices: 15 billion, 10 billion, and 25 billion. These are all rounded up. I feel like 5 billion was just, well, like the Cyber channel. Yeah. Probably. I think. Yes. I'm going to say 15. 19.7 billion, oh. which I rounded up to 20. It's 20 billion. 20 billion. Yeah, not again. No, I'm not doing too well, are you? Yeah, again. So we had YouTube's ad revenue. What was your ad revenue for 2020? <laughs> Should I check? I mean, you can't. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but we can see. We can see if you want to. 2020. No, um, I'm going to guess 30,000. Well, I, I'm going to give you the point for just saying it. I really didn't think you'd say anything, but you get a point. I'm going to check how close I was. Okay, we've gone to the books, Con. You've got an answer for us. And this was pure guesswork. Yeah, I'm shocked, by the way. I was not expecting you to answer. I thought you'd hide away. How close am I allowed to be? Oh, my goodness. £29,415.31. So I'd say I'll smash that. Yeah, and does uh, the HMRC, he paid tax on... All of uh, it, yeah. all of it. I'm so legit. Don't even, don't even like... Just believe me now. Next, I want to look at views and viewership. So if I said to you, uh, what was the first YouTube video to pass a billion views? What would you say? I think this is a pretty well-known fact. So I'll give you a clue. It was a song. Most of them in this, in this kind of range of song. A billion? Mm. Is it like a Katy Perry song? Na, 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 na. Fireworks is what I'm trying no, to sing. It was. No. Gang Wait, no. It, this is Gangnam Style. It was Gangnam Style. I but, get a point. But that's not the question I was asking. Everyone really, generally, that's quite a well-known YouTube fact. But what most people don't know is that another song was the first to break the 100 million mark. I'm going to give you three options. And to make sure that you know what these options are, that you know the songs, I'm going to ask you to sing them for me. Just a little bit, just a little, just a little piece. Just a little piece. So option A. La 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 la. Black Eyed Peas. Where is the love? Where is the love? Give us a few, would you give us a little... What's wrong with the world, man? Second we have... So cringe. Avril Lavigne, Girlfriend. Hey, 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 I want to be your girlfriend. 
And lastly, option C was Smack That by Akon. Smack that all on the floor. the pause. I know, off by heart. You got it. You got it. You know all the options. So, which of those was the first to break 100 million views? I'm so cringe. Yeah. I mean, we both are. We both are. It's fine. Someone reposted her music video of that song on my Twitter timeline the other day because they transformed it to 60p or something. I'm going to go with Avril Lavigne. You can thank your Twitter timeline because you got another point. Boom. Go there. Some hope of getting this one right. This is a day that should stay in everyone's hearts. It was a significant day in YouTube history. The date that I'm, that I'm referring to is the 28th of September, 2013. It marks a huge, huge transitional point in YouTube. Pretty much changed the whole game. I want to know why that day is so significant. Say that date again. 28th of September, 2013. 2013. What was going on in my life in 2013 though? Is it when Sidemen established their channel? You're looking at me weird. And on all the Sidemen, I always look at you weird. Established 2013. And I remember being at uni with Josh at the time. Go for it. All right, yeah. Con, I want to tell you the story of a small, known at the time, Russian born creator who made a channel. On that, it was you. It was the day you made your uh, channel, mate. I, as much as I appreciate the gesture, <laughs> that's so crap. That's so bad. <laughs> That's so bad, bro. Yeah, you didn't know it. You didn't know your own channel establishing date. Oh, has that impacted the YouTube platform? Oh, everyone's buzzing. They talk about it all the time. Do they? No. Seeing as you've done so measly, I'm going to give you an additional five questions to kind of recover a bit of pride. These are completely random and have nothing to do with anything we've been discussing. So let's go. I call this the pity round. We're going to be looking at the country of Australia. Favourite mine. I never stopped talking about it. You know that very well. Yeah. That country is very wide. Very, very wide. But what I want to know, is it wider than? Your mum. Sorry. The, Sorry. The, so please end that. Good point. The moon. B. Russia. C. The US. Or D. Your mum. You, you, you already said your mum to me. I was at Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Definitely not wider than Russia. Russia's the biggest country, but is it the what? Is it wide? Because we see it on top of the planet, right? So it's like how much, how much spherical compression is there? Mm -mm. You like that? That was good. Spherical compression. I'll give you half a point just for spherical compression. No, I, I didn't know you had it, didn't you? It's. I think it's wider than the US. It's wider than the US. Yeah. You'd be surprised to hear. No, is it the spherical roundness that's got me? It is wider than the moon. Huh? Australia is wider. Wait, how wide is the moon? moon? Oh, I think the most important question is, we should have been questioning, is the moon wider than the other option? Is this thing your mum? Well, you got the question wrong anyway. Yeah. Next one. So, summertime's coming up. A lot of things get bigger in the summer. A lot of things get taller in the summer. And that's what I'd like to know. About. Photosynthesis. It happens more, but I don't know about getting taller. Exactly. Did you know that Viagra works on plants as well as humans? You could give a, a lily a boner. What I want to know is, which one of these grows taller in the summer? Is it A, the Eiffel Tower, B, the Statue of Liberty, or C, Big Ben? Those are buildings, bro. How can they get taller? Oh, what, like metal expands when it gets hotter? I mean, if you were going to apply some logic is it a situation, you were going to... Isn't that wood? Yeah, wood does that. It, the Statue of Liberty. Incorrect. Uh, Eiffel Tower. <gasps> it was the Eiffel Tower, but you're not getting the point. Why is it Eiffel Tower? Is it because it's metal construct? I was like, oh, that sounds cool enough. I just wanted to see if you'd know. Colin, you like food, right? Yes, I love food. Have you been to the Philippines? No, I've been near it. But what I want to know is what are the exclusive items that you can find on the McDonald's menu in the Philippines? Okay, now we're talking. So for option A, we have cheesy tuna eyeball. We have the McSquid fillet sandwich. We have spaghetti and we have deep fried tarantula. Okay, not the tarantula. Not tarantula, never tried tarantula? I've tried tarantula. I have, yeah. yeah. Squid is sounding more like, is it, for me, it's between the squid and the spaghetti. Now, why the spaghetti is because they might be trying to introduce like a, a European type of menu there. As soon as we start talking about food, your brain... Yeah, yeah, it clicks on. We should have had a food round. I'm going to go with spaghetti. Did the food round. Only food question in the whole quiz. And you got it right! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. By the logic. I do like the logic. You're clawing back the points. You're clawing back the points bit by bit. So, Con, I'm wondering, what do you mainly watch YouTube on? My computer. A lot of people, they use their phones to watch YouTube, you'd say. I mean, majority of people, I reckon you see them on there looking on that. How much poop do you think is on your phone? Right. I love the correlation between the two. Yeah? Is there do you want me to give you like a percentage? Yeah, I'm just wondering. No, this is the best. I'm just wondering how much poop you think is on your phone. Well, when, I, when I'm when i on my phone in the toilet, I try not to handle my device with the same arm that I wipe poop. But you would say there's some poop on your phone? White pan. No, I don't see why there should be any poop. Okay, well, one in every phone has poop on them. What is the number? Yeah, let me give this up. 
Let's go one in seven. You're going to go one in seven. And Why would they test an odd number though? Let's go one in five. That's an odd one number as well. Yeah, well, they probably tested a larger amount. The ratio is broken down to one in something. One in three. So you think it's one in three people's yeah. phones. That's an odd number again. Have poop on them. Any amount of poop. It's one in six. Close, double that. Double that, yeah, point. double that. But yeah, no points still. You know, a lot of people say you're you're a massive virgin. Um, you know, that's commonly. Do they? And well, I was on too. Oh yeah, yeah, big time, big time. But there is actually an animal that if it goes more than a year without sex, it will die. Here are your four options. You have a ferret, a wasp, an ibex, or an echidna. Or an echidna? What? An echidna. What's that? I don't know. I just I just remember it as a word for an animal, and then I thought, you know what? They say it slowly. An echidna. I'm going to go with that animal you don't know about that. I forgot its name. An echidna. 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 It's a ferret. It's the ferret. It's the ferret. I need to pay a lot. Slow down. Yeah, apparently so. Do you think if you went without sex for a year, you'd die? Still alive. Hey, gone. We are on to the final question. You are losing weight for the charity match. Looking very good so far. You're making good progress. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. You know, I didn't eat too much cake at Simon's wedding, didn't I? No, I hadn't had no cake. No? Very good. I saw, I saw you have a few beers, though. Yeah, I had two beers and loads of vodka shots. If you had to say what your body was rich in right now, what would it be? Like, when you got a lot of fats, a lot of happiness. Happiness, that's great. Well, the average human body is actually quite rich in one of these things. Is it A, protein? B, carbohydrates, C, fat, or D, salt. Well, I'm gonna, you know, like any meats, I'm gonna go for high in protein. It makes sense that we would leave the quiz on a high. Gone, you've done it. In that last round, I think you've got three out of five of the things. I wasn't really paying attention, but the main thing is, I think you had fun today. I did, I did indeed. Excellent news. Well, if you want more quizzes like this, please let Con know, and then uh, and we'll, make, we'll get random other YouTubers, we'll assemble quizzes for them. Let me know what other YouTubers you might want to see on this show, and we'll reach out to them and see if they're interested. Or maybe you can start up a YouTube channel someday. Oh, maybe a joint one. Maybe we do a podcast together. Maybe we could. Would people want that? Would people want that? Let's see. Let's <laughs> <Where's> that one. <laughs>